The program was created by the N Goggle team from San Diego, the U.S., attracting many medical investors during the Eye Creation China 2016 Zhejiang Business and Innovation Entrepreneurship Competition. Their VR device looks just like normal VR glasses. However, the glasses can play images to stimulate vision. And the strap at the back can collect electroencephalogram changes. According to Xiao Jiajian, the CTO of N Goggle Team, this new technology is under clinical test in the U.S. at the moment. For example, when we show the flash to a normal person, we can see the response in the brain. If someone has glaucoma, some parts of the eyes are blind, so the response will be different. We can find out which part is blind from the differences. Currently, the common diagnosis method of glaucoma is standard automatic perimetry, or SAP. Under this way, a patient has to record the light spots he sees manually. If the patient loses focus or moves head, the result is impaired. Xiao said the electroencephalogram is an objective and accurate way to record the blind spots. Meanwhile, experts found it can detect areas which SAP cannot through test. Our method is more sensitive than SAP. Patients with glaucoma can know the medical effects with this method. This is very important. Traditionally, patients can only have three tests annually, and a large amount of data is needed. It takes patients one to one and a half year averagely to know if the treatment takes effect. We hope that with this device, we can shorten the period to three months. According to Stanley Kim, the CEO of N Goggle Team, they have already acquired investment from the U.S. government as well as the international patents. With two Chinese team members, Xiao said the team came to China in order to find strategic cooperation partners in this promising market. They are optimistic that the potential for VR in health is huge.